yeah hello good evening everybody so let me welcome uh, mr monoranjan borgaihai who is here today to deliver a talk on role of hr and growing challenges in the new tech decade we know how tech was important during covid crisis then entire education system could be managed and sustained because of tech and that's why this is called the tech decade and he is going to throw lights on uh, what is the role of hr and growing challenges in this new decade so let me tell you few things about him and introduce him bonoranjan is an award winning business leader a serial entrepreneur and a hardcore techno functional leader with over 15 years of experience working across the globe including india united states of america japan and germany his vast experience in international business growth and transformation has made his startup successful coming from a humble background from assam monoranjan made dietos grow from a one person run company in 2018 to over 200 employees across india singapore and the us monoranjan was selected among 100 inspirational leaders of asia 2022 and the white page international he was recognized as one of the top business innovative leaders by the times group india today and many more media houses he has worked in mncs namely society general huawei publicis sapien coach galaxy e galaxy e solutions siemens dietos was recognized as startup of the year 2020 by cio insider india innovative zone india prime insights and the inner review recognized his achievement he has received several awards like startup of the year 2020 by cio insider india indian achievers award for Promo promising company 2020 the company in focus 2020 by innovative zone india the 30 most trusted brands to watch 2021 by prime insights the best company to follow in 2021 by the inner review his experience in ai technology has contributed significantly to make the recruitment process more user friendly monoranjan innovative thought process has made e2e hiring one of the pioneers in online recruitment today headquartered in bangalore it is known for its ai powered recruitment and assessment platform the same is patented under the government of india or 5 lakh freshers and skilled professionals are registered on the platform monoranjan believes in investing and developing grassroots and encouraging budding talent across the world he feels motivated around his team of young and skilled members so let's welcome him uh, to ama for today's sessions so without taking much time uh, before handing over the desk uh, the dais to him let me formally thank you so much Thank you. All to you. Sure. Thank you. So thank you so much, uh, Manoj. I think <laughs> you, I think somebody provided really a long intro. <laughs> I don't deserve all of it. I think uh, it's yeah. But thank you so much. Uh, getting this from you um, uh, is really uh, uh, motivating for me. so good evening uh, ladies and gentlemen i hope uh, uh, i hope um, uh, today's session is going to be um, you know it's going to be more mutual um, and feel free to stop me anytime um, before that uh, thank you again uh, manoj ji um, uh, for the uh, introduction uh, umesh ji and also um, ahana for uh, really taking care of me <laughs> i i actually i didn't sleep last whole night uh, and uh, i was in um, adani uh, corporate uh, house for and also university then i call her at 3 uh, o'clock saying then so i'm coming do you have anything i'm kind of damn tired so in the last moment she managed um, a room for me i freshen up and came here so really appreciate it i i owe this and probably when you come to bangalore i i'll host you once so all right uh, um so let me start uh, the whole uh, so yeah um, my name is monu uh, in short in long uh, it's monu 
and um, uh, yes i am a techie as i you know introduce myself i love to be a yes so um, uh, yes my name is uh, uh, monu i have uh, 16 years of experience primarily on the it domain and uh, uh, because of the need i had to learn business i i have no uh, connection i have no education and background of uh, you know, um, uh, I, I, either sales or, or business, um, but then I somehow learned it. Uh, um, and I did few pre-sales uh, in my previous organization, and uh, then I felt that uh, I should start something of my own because all my companies that I have worked in the past got confused where I'm good at. Uh, because I do coding, I do coding uh, still today, uh, because when I'm frustrated, I do coding. <laughs> so, and there are a lot of reasons why I have to be frustrated. Uh, so I do coding still, so that makes me techie still. I do business development uh, and selling things here and there, so that <laughs> makes me again a, 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 you know, a, a sales. So I played uh, different um, roles over the period of time, and um, I have uh, bootstrapped three companies. Um, the first one is Dietos uh, from my own balcony, and uh, where I got uh, ten thousand dollar from one of the US guy and uh, they said can you build this I said yes I can build it so I took a um, uh, loss of pay from my previous employer and um, I thought uh, let me give it a try and with that 10k dollar um, I started building something and uh, when I got that amount I realized that you know I can build a uh, company so that's when I started dietos from my balcony and it grown and uh, now we have in uh, three uh, countries including India and also I feel very proud to say that, you know, Dietos is a true Indian MNC because in the U.S. also it's a subsidiary company of uh, Dietos India. So uh, being part of uh, Bootstrap journey, um, it's so important and it's so beautiful journey uh, for me uh, because everything we have to do, every rupee, every um, uh, everything is so important. And uh, even to buy a chair is, you know, uh, how do I c do a cost cutting there? Right, it's so important and that is that the beauty lies is that you have to play different roles. Uh, uh, maybe a CFO, a CEO, a CTO, a CHRO, a CHRO and um, maybe CEO. So all these roles I, I played um, uh, myself. Now one of the most important and uh, uh, difficult role that I have played was uh, um, a human resource role. The reason is when we were scaling, um, First problem I got in is that uh, from the balcony, uh, you know, nobody <laughs> wants to join. <laughs> so first they have to come to security gate and then take appointment every day. So that's the first problem when I uh, faced as an HR where I wanted to scale. And the journey begins there, um, you know, over years. And um, I see that uh, it's a deep problem. And uh, I talked to my friends and understood that it's actually a, a perpetual problem, which is global in nature. So that's when I thought, uh, and uh, today when I recollect those days, I feel um, uh, like HR is a, is a two-sided mirror, right? So one side, uh, probably you can see yourself uh, in a two-sided mirror, and the other one is uh, see-through. Um, I don't know if it is <laughs> you know, published anywhere, but that's my, again, own personal experiences. And everything that I'm going to say is my personal experience, so I may be uh, uh, right or wrong, and uh, I think we have um, you know, um, a great personality here, so please forgive me if there is uh, <laughs> you know, anything, but I'm going to talk uh, really um, uh, um, you know, straight on this. So yes, it's a uh, two-sided mirror. One is, um, one is um, I can see myself. As an HR, I can see um, all my employees uh, through that mirror. And it's also a reflection of myself, my right? reflection, and I also represent all my uh, employees in that uh, as an HR. So that's one side of it. The other side is uh, the see-through, uh, which is basically um, you can see everything inside through that glass, and that piece of glass is uh, me again as an HR, right? So which I represent the outside wall, and when people come, um, uh, inquiry about my company or job role or job position, I represent my company. So I'm a brand ambassador, right? So that's why I, I thought uh, more re resemblance and anomaly is with a two-sided mirror. Um, however, uh, let's also look at uh, quickly um, about um, uh, the roles and responsibility of a, of a as HR in a typical environment and uh, there are you know, tons of roles and responsibility, but I'm trying to highlight few of those uh, uh, roles and uh, responsibility. Employee engagement is uh, 
uh, one aspect of um, um, you know HR role. Uh, people also call it HR as most thankless job, uh, <laughs> and I think HR is also. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, I also see a lot of young faces here, um, and I think uh, Insta world and uh, uh, Facebook world, Twitter world. There are a lot of memes, uh, uh, you know, exist for uh, HR functions, right? And I think the number one position goes to HR functions only. There are different types of memes that goes around. So, however, um, HR is a serious uh, business. It's a serious job. Um, so, employee engagement is one such uh, activity that HR takes care of it. And um, so, uh, employee engagement is an emotional activity. It's an um, more we give to employee without really looking at uh, the politics behind it, corporate politics we call it as, or you know, bossing or impressing someone. But if we just work for employee as an individual, as a human, uh, people-centric approach, I think uh, um, people connect. And that's how um, uh, I have been doing. As I said, I don't have any um, verified knowledge of business, but all I do is I talk very straight and it gets connected very easily because, um, you know, when you talk straight, um, you don't need to guess anything. It's just <laughs> either you are wrong or right. But there is no wrong in right and right in wrong, right? So that's, I think, an easy way that I have been able to scale uh, the company from one person to, um, you know, close to 200 across uh, in short period of time. So the next is uh, the managing uh, uh, relationship. So healthy work environment uh, also related uh, to the trust in the workforce, the way we trust our uh, um, you know, friends within the company, the the employees within the company. So relationship matters a lot, and uh, it is also to deal with communication. And uh, um, we tend to believe that HR communicates well, um, right? And uh, they they keep in mind both organizational uh, goals and also the employee uh, perspective and they communicate well. They also facilitate uh, the communication channel. So if HR, um, uh, um, you know, does a good right messaging, um, it creates a lot of positivity uh, within employees. Even if uh, today's environment when there is a hybrid model going on, right? So HR actually plays a very um, um, important role in making sure that uh, the connectivity, the communication um, between people sitting in office and people uh, working from home still exist. And that's where uh, it makes it more um, um, uh, complex and I would say challenging and also exciting because those memes would uh, eventually be changed to be a more serious uh, person, uh, persona as a HR. So a failure in right messaging can actually create a lot of damage. Training and development cross upskill cross skill um, you know how do you make sure the people are motivated they are getting trained on niche area the interested area or the people who can move between di different diff department uh, within an organization are also very important aspect uh, because a lot of time people uh, you know leave the company because they are in bench i have a uh, few of my um, uh, old friends, we keep talking that big uh, giants, uh, I do, will not name it <laughs> for my own sake. So uh, big giants, they don't have work for long and, um, and they want to come back and uh, join me in, uh, in my startup because here in startup, uh, right from picking up your own workstation to fix it, to code it, to fi uh, you know, uh, install everything, it's, it's a hell lot of work, right? And, um, and, um, when you are not doing anything, you have to do something else. So that's again create another problem for big giants, which I'll talk to <laughs> talk about it in a in a minute. But yes, making sure that um, the the employees are getting adequate training, and again training is gone are the days where trainings uh, happen in a in a probably a big campus like Infosys in Mysuru, where you know one year training on and having a live ice life five star treatment, and then you go for um, uh, you know, a lot of physical activity along with the training and after one year you'll be placed in some production support job and so that do, uh, days are gone. So now the training has to be uh, in a very different way, fast way 
um, people centric understand who wants what it's not just pushing okay um, I have um, this support activity so you have to go through that training so now people are not gonna stay there right so uh, HR has to play a very important role finding identifying the gaps and uh, make sure that um, uh, the, the employees get trained employee retention hot topic uh, boardroom discussion HR discussion and uh, uh, you know a lot again another cr critical aspect is um, aspect in, in, in HR uh, uh, function so how do you find out uh, how do you do employee retention so first of all we have to understand why somebody is quitting right and uh, um, uh, and there may be a lot of reasons why people are quitting and uh, we need to find out those reasons and um, and 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 see that uh, uh, actually we make uh, our HR also sometimes just to fill in position and make sure that because there is a KRA uh, you know behind there are there are deadlines and sometimes we also start uh, cooking up things uh, to make sure the candidate join so of that attitude you bring in people but then within a few months they vanish right so these are classic examples where uh, probably a false commitment has been made or um, uh, or the person uh, not seeing uh, anywhere in the whole organization so they leave. There's another set of people who leave after one or two years, like government falls. Uh, there is a uh, political term, I forgot, but every five years the government keeps changing and all of it, or if two terms comes, the third terms again somebody else comes. So if you see certain pattern like that, it means that the person is exhausted um, or person has learned everything or not getting new challenges so he boring stereotype work keep doing and uh, so you get bored and trying to find something more interesting more challenging elsewhere so that's another reason so HR again have to make sure proactive uh, lead to find out key um, you know am I uh, are my guys are, uh, or employees are happy enough are they you know getting challenges um, every single day because when they get challenges nobody leaves and that's probably I can say uh, from my own experiences so employee retention again just be nice uh, you don't need to panic uh, keep you know people comes people go so there is nothing great about it uh, it's just that we have to be a little bit more strategize things to uh, uh, make sure that it, it's all fall in line uh, this is my favorite topic um, um, diversity equity um, inclusion and belonging it's so important and uh, 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 from my own experiences, um, at times uh, we were trying to hire um, um, women employee in my organization, and uh, you know they come and within three days uh, or uh, within a month uh, I don't see them there. And then at some point in time it's all male uh, employee, and after a year I I, I realized that uh, you know. Um, it has to change it has to change uh, and also at some point in time um, there are a lot of people from one community from coin butter <laughs> one refer another refer 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 so I realized that 60% of the people are actually coin butter I thought you know let's open a branch in coin butter as well because everybody is from there so then I I realized that um, and most of my co co-workers in the past where I work for big MNCs and I have a very good relation with uh, uh, you know my team members who are very sharp and those are uh, women employee and I learned a lot from them Then I wanted to recreate I give an attempt, but nobody stays there So then I realized I wanted to try I wanted to understand why uh, it's happening then I realized that uh, And it's a silly reason <laughs> When I move out from balcony, then I move to a single bedroom apartment <laughs> and uh, because I cannot afford uh, a big uh, commercial space, so I moved to a single bedroom apartment where I realized there is only one bathroom. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, boys, girls use the same. And then I said, okay, let me take another single bedroom apartment on the same floor. So SSA, I have taken three single bedroom apartments and divide between, but that doesn't work that way. And also there is um, uh, no processes, policies that can actually um, help uh, and make sure that, you know, we, um, motivate a uh, uh, woman employee to join then I change uh, everything and said that you know this is the time to actually move to a commercial space with uh, 
you know, um, um, uh, you know, more facility from the infrastructure, or I'll not say more facility, a bare minimum facility is required for woman employee to, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, work on, on, on my organization. So then the things changes. Now I'm very proudly say that, you know, I have uh, 200, probably 80 to 90 are actually uh, uh, woman employee, right? So, and that's the change and happen or, and it's very lively. Uh, for example, when there is an occasion happens, they are the f uh, you know people who dress nicely and make sure everybody dress properly and then do all this flower decoration and feel so homely and it actually strengthens the whole uh, relationship. It changes the entire environment and um, and that's where this is so important. And I'm just talking about male, female, but then gender diversity, right? And uh, inclusion, belonging. You know, you don't need to really give them a good hike or so much of hike, but if, if you could give them a good uh, uh, appreciation, uh, ownership, a sense of uh, belonging, that you are part of this decision making and I am there to support you irrespective of your success or failure. And if it is failure, you're, you're definitely in. If it is success, you are definitely in to take more responsibility, right? So. These are very important and very small thing that you could actually do, but it actually changes a lot uh, in my own experiences. So this is the most important part uh, of any organization to run and function smoothly. Employee uh, health and well-being. Well, it's not really going out uh, to a gym and then you know have a biceps, triceps, and uh, also it's not really about uh, physical well-being now. Um, although it was uh, at some point in time, you well-being meaning you know give a membership uh, of a gym uh, every month and then employees are happy doing yoga and all sort of thing. But today's um, well-being is also uh, related to emotional uh, well-being, financial well-being, social career, well-being, community, and purpose-driven well-being. So we have to make sure that it, it, we give a holistic uh, picture and also work with them to make sure that they get the due attention and uh, course correction. Uh, there are a lot of um, um, uh, you know ways to uh, perform those. And there are also a lot of uh, companies who are actually into focusing into it. So we can always work with them to um, uh, make sure that we get a give a um, holistic um, well-being. All right, so or right, something else has come actually. All right, so this is probably um, the topic of the day. We all <laughs> it's so boring topic. Uh, I don't know, but it is it is how it is. So issues that uh, we talk, keep talking, and then uh, I think um, in if you pick up Economic Times um, or any business news, uh, this is the hot topic for any uh, anchor in a TV channel or a new channel to pick up. Kisne kisko udaya, kisne kisko you know So all that. So these are the burning topics in current situation: um, great resignation, the quiet quitting, and uh, moonlighting. So uh, people who are uh, young, and you might have heard about this, but for people who are actually experienced, at least to me, it is not new. It is not new. Trust me, quite quitting, moonlighting are there at least in my 16 years, I have seen 16,000 times, right? So, uh, and there are also instances where one of my friend in Wipro who has work uh, you know five to nine to six job and uh, go out and he has also a restaurant <laughs> so he spent there and i was kind of still working in my office because that was a startup so it is always there and then there are freelancing activities so it is always there but now we are exaggerating uh, too much about uh, uh, quite uh, uh, quite quitting or moonlighting in that uh, uh, matter because I believe, again, it's my personal point of view, I believe there is a lack of trust from the employer to employee, right? He's working from home. Is he actually working? The suspicion, suspe I mean, that's how, and it become an anxiety and become a, and uh, it like goes like viral, but it has been there for ages. It's just that lot of people are working from home 
and maybe they work work for home not really working from home but maybe working for home so this kind of sense of um, you know feeling and uh, distress make this topic more sensitive and more um, uh, you know prominent but i think it's it's not a great deal I, if someone uh, wants to work 24 bar 7 who is going to stop uh, i mean uh, personal or otherwise right but i cannot enforce someone ki you work 15 hours because you want to work but i'll pay for 8 hours i mean that doesn't work that way but anyway so i'm i'm no one to comment on others but my personal feeling is that um it may be a lack of trust that i could uh, think of great resignation is again lot of people say it is due to covid it's due to work from um um home i don't think so again again it's <laughs> personal uh, uh, opinion uh, i believe it is due to shortage of people now now shortage is not because we have more work the shortage is because we have more money um in india alone including covid period we have 100 uh, plus unicorns which means 1 billion dollars company right which means they have lot of money which means they have made lot of promises to investors which means they have to show lot of uh, uh, progress in order to show that investment are being utilized to develop the product and push to the market right in such cases you need people to deliver both the statement as well as work now you need people and you have money so go and uh, you know hire a lot of people do um, uh, counter offer give more packages and all of it and that's the scenario where uh, you know byju's kind of they are hiring in hundreds and one of the guy came to my company for an interview and we asked how is byju's <laughs> says byju's work day and night and uh, 18 hours and if you take a leave and again um, am i on recorded line <laughs> i don't care <laughs> <laughs> i don't care so uh yeah so uh, i mean you get paid but at the same time there are a lot of work out there right so um, and even in spite of working for so long if you cannot hit meet the deadline or the target you are bound to get fired right so that's where uh, so that's where we see a lot of uh, hiring and and firing so now let's consider this this way right so so far i have been um, i don't know which side i'm taking maybe at the end you can <laughs> give me a vote which side i have taken right so one side i'm also try to be an hr with the employee friendly situation so another side i'm showing as flipping the coin now consider this whole situation as a coin and coin has two side the side that i have been talking about great resignation the quiet quitting and moonlighting is one side of the coin where we are blaming employees for doing unethical things on the other side here we go and again uh, you can quote me because <laughs> i have quoted it from uh, public uh, content right so this is another side of the co same coin right so where one side we said you are doing unethical practices on the other side people are kind of laying off right so now it's it's kind of a uh, one side sometimes this side and probably if you are in linkedin or any social media that you will get lot of uh, good content you don't even need to have a kapil sharma show anymore because if you get into linkedin you will see both uh, version of and you will see any post that is kind of um, and uh, i just enjoy okay so i only contribute my view i don't comment like on this sensitive issues because i know in some group i am going to be trashed right so it's always divided into two groups this side and that side now i don't know which side is right or wrong but this side exists one side is we are blaming employees that you are doing unethical thing on the other side we are also laying off right so that's about employer side of the story which is one side of the mirror and i see myself as a hr and as an employee and try to try to find uh, um uh, find where i belong now let's look at let's uh, change the side this time and it's a see through which is the second side of the two sided uh, um mirror 
now this is what we call it as recruitment or hiring talent uh, and all it, all of it and as i said when i want to change my job and again lot of time in order to find answers for my own problem i always put myself on to that particular shoe right so what i have done when i was trying to change my job what are the reasons that i was trying to change my job right so and i get a very clear answer in that case and lot of times we forget that we were there and then when my side got changed as a employer aap kon rokega so that in is not correct and you can see get those answers very easily if you just change the um uh, side it's like uh, sorry to bring in but saas bhi kabhi bahut hi kind of <laughs> so it's very easy to uh, find out the answers when you uh, try to change now when i try to change uh, myself as a as a candidate or a job seeker what i do i i i probably see all there is an opening from one company and uh, the opening and the job description uh, is actually matching with my um, kind of profile and also um what i'm actually uh, looking for uh, board in term all all parameter now what i do i do do some due diligence uh, in terms of finding the company uh, in in social media glassdoor um, google linkedin or any other public content available that's one thing but i never get convinced because when i go to glassdoor i see again divided group one side of people saying that company is good the another side say no no don't join so i get confused so that's not the reality the next validation that i do probably talking to someone from the company and that's probably a recruiter or a or a ta we call it or uh, uh, hr right they are the people so now you actually validate this information through this person who you want to see the entire organization through that person and that's why i call it as a second side of the mirror where it is like a see through and you want to get enough information about that uh, 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 person right and uh, that's where if you do not make the the person trying to reach you do not have a good experience then you lost two thing one is an opportunity to brand your company and next is the you lost that person forever and then if you word of mouth you will probably lose lot of thing and this is um so i don't know what is this is a real example so when a a uh, my candidate gone through a interview process and did not find and find lot of issue again i don't know whether candidate is right or wrong but then there is a definite improvement required because he's he's talking about something that is not gone right in that case obviously the response from the company is uh, pretty good uh, trying to take the responsibility and you know also promise for a course correction however it could have been very easily avoided given that the person who is there interacting are so warm talk nicely to the person and make the candidate life easy because you don't put out a job just to say that you know we are hiring you put out a job because you need someone and when you need someone you are not in the authority power you don't have the power it it's it's just that you need the person and make sure that you know that the good will happens between um, uh, both the parties and that's why it is so important and imperative that um, you know we take care of uh, this job uh, uh very very uh, um you know critically so again the problem associated this side is again completely different there we we saw the the great resignation the moonlighting and now this side again there are two groups again there are two sides of a coin and i'm going to talk about both side i don't know which side i belong no show right so interview day just for two days the person switch off the phone or doesn't even respond and i have seen some founders ceo and also taking to twitter i don't understand uh, why that person so it is a mere frustration and i really again enjoy seeing those uh, 
forget about hr the ceo also uh, scolding one guy i don't know what is happening to this it industry he took offer from me taken another offer from somebody else and on the day of join he sent me an apology apology letter i think you are lucky enough that you got that letter there are a lot of instances you don't even get that right so yes it's a mere uh, frustration and uh, when the leader gets into frustration frustrated it is very evident that the candidate did a good job not joining that company right so you have to be really calm in this situation because you don't own anyone you don't own your family you don't own your wife or husband your children you don't own anyone that's the fact because when i die i die right it's no more sati patha pratha where husband dies and you know <laughs> some uh, you know wife so you as an individual is and you don't own anyone neither your family then how can you even uh, you know emphasize or empower um, um, uh, to uh, to someone who don't even know right so there is yes yes so i'll i'll say this way now i'll change the coin now what about the commitment from the other side when people yes yes that's one of the example that i'm going to quote that you know wipro has sent so many offer to the students in the campus now they are taking back those offer where is the commitment now i as an individual of course that's that's something we have to encourage people because if i consider i have 16 years of experience and i'm talking to a fresher and they are not following the commitment what i do is better you please learn commitment professionalism because when this whole chain gets changed because i have seen the great depression as well when i i was working on a company where when we go out for lunch there is a cab waiting downstairs pick up 500 people and there are you know hundreds of cab waiting there and then under guso and then give me your id card and you are done you are fired right so and we have seen how this whole family gets collapsed because of not you know looking at the profitability so commitment of course we have to train them if that is the case we have to show an example i'll tell you the offer shopping that we are talking about it is the company who is doing that amazon is placing an order paytm is putting double than offer now again uh, amazon is saying he doesn't have professionalism do you have professionalism when you know that you already have a offer why did you encourage it so if a job seeker is looking for a job and if employer is better than the job seekers and more professional than job seekers then show that i was working for a walmart i know uh, a lot of the uh, you know uh, uh, you know walmart they have also attrition when they pay a lot of money amazon why their people are leaving i don't know but then i know one thing for sure and i'm also working on my own platform on that side that one of the now insight which was not there before is that why so and so candidate did not join me number one where that candidates has joined who has given more offer than i how much they so now that's a different analytics now being cooked up the acha you have given this let me also take your own guy, guy next time so now we are also not doing the right thing as an employer to encouraging that and i don't take anyone if they have an offer by the way i don't take let the guy be you know the the brightest of all i don't take them because you have an offer you accepted that offer looking at your career graph so i always anchor and probably i spend half an hour on that where i don't even have time to spend that but i make sure that as even and there are instances in those uh, interviews that guy say no no i don't want to take your offer i'm going back to my companies and i feel so good if i'm able to make at least out of 10 one person change their mind probably it will all change and i all all 10 and the people if there is any job seekers have a list of ta- uh, checklist what do you want from your next job have 10 items and if 10 out of 10 8 is satisfied then please be satisfied because when this the clock will change i have seen this depression and it's always the clock will come 
when the twin towers fall down when great depression happen and again recession comes no commitment will work no professionalism work nothing will work one of my friend i am actually uh, putting people there in that company and my ex employer and i was talking to a leadership team there and that company also uh, in actually gurgaon <laughs> so and that's my uh, past company i said you are not taking any people now what happened are yaar i have 800 uh, people in bench i said so and we are firing 500 next week I said why because we have taken people in hurry because everyone is taking so i am also taking because we don't know now we have picked up people who do not even have basic um, um, you know programming skill now we are not able to put them onto different projects so it's an overhead to the company so we are firing what about your commitment that why did you even select if that person is not good now what if now the person may not be able to clear other jobs as well because you have taken now what about their career maybe that those people are running a family small family so what about that so this is very interesting game and um, i don't know as i said sir who is right or wrong but if i play again my role as a mentor there and see that if i can change one person out of them then fine and also i as an employer if i'm at the ability to you know say someone is good or bad then i will say that you are good technically but you need to be matured ethically or professionally and here is my you know notes now if i can change it at this one person probably will change it because my worry is not that they are taking 10 uh, offers my worry is that when the clock change they will be the people who will get fired first and they will never get a job because that the whole investment banking the motor sector invent investment bankers are the king they have so much of money they don't have time they don't know th where to spend that money now in after great uh, uh, depression period they know banking sector investment insurance and all they all come to you know the ground and they now the way they work is changed forever and my worry is there that you know if you do not people who are changing job every year now tomorrow if the clock change i'll see oh okay how much of uh, experience do you have in an organization if someone say area every 6 months one year change i'm not going to take that because i cannot run my organization by looking at someone who are so you know frequent in changing job right so that's one so this is another side of um, as i said let's flip the coin again and see what biggies are doing they send out an offer letter but then they said no now we don't want you so that's again a problem so i am again not <laughs> taking any side because i work with this companies as well so my and i have taken it from public content so i think i have 15 minutes so i'll quickly try to wrap it up so now the challenges and um, we talk about actual challenges that we have seen but then the challenges is not really um, um, just keep busying about those which doesn't have a material value because it, these are all transactional i believe and probably in a year or two the way people are getting fired uh, and the fundings are funding are reduced you know uh, people a lot of startups getting shut down i think there is a year or two probably where this whole um, uh, um, you know consolidation will happen right so in that case hr also has a bigger role to play in terms of uh, where do they want to see in future um, by taking help of um, uh, technology I, i think i have quoted this from a few of uh, the online article itself so um hiring and uh, retaining workers right so this is again a um, two side of the it's a egg and chicken uh, chick chicken and egg kind of a situation so you have to hire not just to uh, fire or just to lose them you also hire people so that you can retain as well understand and so uh, and and f and find ways where uh, basically um, or use uh, tools to find these uh, factors right the reasons for uh, um, um, you know people quitting the reasons why you are not able to hire faster right so uh, and uh, take use of tools softwares that makes your life easy and also uh, you can take actually uh, uh, decision properly data driven uh decisions that can actually go in where there is a backing support of data why you have taken such decision use ai ml uh, um again do not trust i i was attending a um, 
session in uh, Barodra uh, last to last week or so in Parul University, and the topic was very interesting. Um, HR without people. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I have been asked a question where um, you know, do you see AI, AI is taking a, taking taking away the HR jobs and all of it? I said no, 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 no. It's not going to happen. Uh, that's not definitely not going to happen. A, a, AI is going to really smooth the process, but then AI itself needs a lot of correction. And um, I think there are a lot of uh, cases also opened up uh, against Google, Microsoft, and all of it when their conversational uh, AI doesn't work and try to predict uh, someone's behavior based on their past, and then they go very wrong. And also there are um, cases where um, um, uh, Microsoft um, Einstein, oh no, IBM Einstein, uh, I think, right? So try to use uh, um, in uh, deciding people hike, and they gone, you know, drastically wrong there uh, with certain parameters. So human is human, and uh, human cannot be uh, human emotions. Every human are uh, you know are unique by itself. So machine cannot decide my emotions. Machine cannot decide my uh, fate. Machine can help me to take certain decision um, based on the, the past history, but machine cannot uh, drive me, right? So, uh, or drive any human. So what I'm talking about here is a, uh, is a tool, software, techniques, library, AI, and all of it to help taking certain decisions, making certain process faster. You can get insight about certain um, 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 things that can actually uh, smooth the whole process um, and wherever things can be automated, let's automate. But then HR is here to stay and HR is actually going to play a very different and very critical role. Right? And that's why we HR as an HR, I have to be ready to take use of those because the I cannot go in a traditional way ki ek Excel sheet nikal diye and then generate a pivot table and see ki what's happening. No, I can't do it. I can't do it because people are sitting across, um, you know, I have m one of my friend in, in the same apartment and he's also from Assam. I said, he, and then one day he packed everything and say, uh, he works for a big company in IBM. I said, have you <laughs> left your job? He said, no, no, I'm there. Why? What happened? No, you're packing your bags and you're going back to Assam. He said, yes, I got permanent work from home. There, the <laughs> you know, cost of my kid education is, you know, 70% lesser than how much, I mean, the, the amount it was in, in Bangalore. So I'm going. So now he's working from, so there will be situation now where people across, uh, you know, world, maybe not, not just even in India, they will be working across. So things are going to be very different, very um, difficult for HR pers person. And I think HR has more to do, not just to be part of those memes. They have a lot more to do. And, uh, and uh, I believe it will happen because there's a tremendous pressure. Uh, I'm not here to talk about this though, but uh, with this process that we have seen, that I have seen myself, um, when I was trying to scaling up uh, dietos, I went to, uh, and I'm not, uh, this statement again, it's not a sell sales uh, uh, speech or uh, uh, pitch, but it's reality that I have faced. When I was trying to scale up, I gone to many job portal including our big guy, right? So I asked, I'm a startup, please give me some discount. They have given me in 2019 or so some discount and then the price was 20,000. And I was trying to uh, get a lot of resumes out of that and yes, I get tons of resume. 99% are in, has no use for me. And trust me, I'm not saying 99% of no use, those resume are either outdated and by the time I download it or view the phone number gone, two credit point or some point gone, which is equivalent to 10 rupees or something. So then um, I gone to other platforms saying that, you know, I want to shortlist people through assessment and all of it. Again, there are big guys, big guys meaning billion dollar companies. 
they charge me okay first you put one lakh rupees in the credit then utilize those all right so but you tell me one thing i'll <laughs> give you that one lakh please guarantee me that i'll get at least five good guys no no i cannot guarantee you can take the platform and they will go through those assessment if they are good good then i said no it's crazy process of maintaining an excel sheet or email i think i need to go for recruitment platform or ets then again i gone to big guy okay you have one or two employees free of but you cannot download the report <laughs> what you can so all that so i end up paying 1.5 lakh including the subscription for portal and other thing 1.5 lakh i could not hire anyone then i have to go colleges there also they are not entertaining me because it's a small chotu uh, company and then uh, not paying lot then i said okay i need people who has backlog whose communication is bad whose attitude is good but you know rejected by everyone so selected by me and they are the rock stars guys who i have today and they are still with me right they are rock stars because the people from iit also not able to beat these guys 3 years building softwares for lnt construction and all of it where you know 10 years company are actually drinking water in front of us and we are not even uh, one year that time so the and today i go back to the same big daddies 20000 become 1 lakh 80000 same number of service what you did no we acquired so many company now you will get those i don't care you acquired so many that doesn't mean that you know i have to pay for your uh, merger and acquisition and that's the reality and that's where we started this e2 hiring as an ecosystem where we reach out to colleges universities training institute including um 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 tire uh, two cities tire three cities or even uh, as big as adani universities or iim or um, uh ama or any other uh, parul university lpu dr ambedkar institute of technology all this we are trying to build an ecosystem and we are not charging any penny them to them neither to job seekers nor to uh the um, uh, colleges nor to institutes and all of it yes we have to run our um, um, uh, you know um, uh, machine and those programs that runs so we charge them minimum to but then this ecosystem and that's why people are appreciating within 6 months we have more than 150 employee uh, you know corporate join there are exclusive partnership with tamil nadu government and also we are trying to go uh, while so and lot of people are appreciating so again intent is very simple go grassroot talk to the people who on the ground don't sell things you know understand their pain and they will come forward and that's how we have been trying to achieve this whole ecosystem uh, and trying to see that how we can build this ecosystem where i will be able to make a recommendation to employers that this person probably got already an offer do you like to consider and there will be a situation where probably we'll be able to solve this problem in a bigger way at some point in time so with that i am uh, shutting my mouth <laughs> and thank you so much for listening me and i hope uh, i able to um uh, make some value addition this evening um, and thank you so much for joining me and i see there is a rain raining outside so in spite of that you join me uh, today i hope uh, this your evening is actually uh, fruitful thank you so much i'm up yeah i must thank uh, mr monoranjan who came down and uh, you know gave us an excellent talk and insight into what a startup means and what a person goes through in the startup right you need lot of perseverance and lot of patience and hr as we know is important uh, anywhere and everywhere right at any stage of the uh, life li lifetime of the company and more so probably during startup because unless you have people with you who trust in you and on in whom you can trust you can't build a company as he rightly said you can have an excellent technology but uh, you need people uh, to work with you to have faith in you trust in you and uh, build build your company right. so the hr is going to stay forever whether we have robots or robotics and other things as i'm also added that yes the ai will help uh, to filter out to make the things easy uh, 
uh, yeah, I would say easy means uh, yeah, since there are a lot of people these days, as he says, you get a lot of CVs. Uh, I was with IMA and any recruitment you want to do, you get plenty of CVs and how to filter out is a memon task and that is where uh, AI is going to help. But at the end, yes, it is human to human interaction. And uh, in this present era, uh, uh, post COVID, the, there are a lot of HR challenges, remote working, the teams, uh, you know, dispersed team at remote locations. Now, you know how to get them together and make them work in synergy. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for this uh, enlightening sessions and uh, the challenges what from the HR side uh, is faced by big companies, small companies, startups and everything. And uh, we, from the AMA I, and the uh, audience here, I thank you and wish you all the best. And we hope that uh, the, the path you charted does not land you up in those big company and you really make difference to the society Never, and the HR uh, fraternity. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.